We start tonight with new information and new allegations following a viral video showing a violent arrest in Arkansas. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Faith Woodard. And I'm Roly Hoyt. Craig O'Neill has the night off. We want to warn you, ever since it surfaced on Sunday, the video that we've been showing of three Arkansas police officers beating a man is hard to watch. But tonight, there are new allegations coming out about one of those officers. THV 11, Sarah Hobakowitz joins us live in studio with more on what we know right now about the officers involved and new lawsuits being filed. Sarah. We are continuing to learn new information tonight about the history of everyone involved in this brutal attack. That includes the officers, the man getting arrested, and two others alleging their own experiences with what they say is a history of abuse from one of the Crawford County deputies involved. Here's what we know so far. The officer and deputies that were involved in the recording have since been identified as Mulberry Officer Thel Riddle, Deputy Levi White, and Deputy Zach King. The man getting arrested, Randall Worcester's attorneys, now coming forward with two new clients, both alleging excessive force from Deputy Levi White in other arrests. You know, we've been contacted now by a scary amount of people, Several. pictures, um, and it's the same, you know, Deputy Levi White. One client, Tammy Nelson, claims she has a history with Crawford County deputies handling her civil matters appropriately. But when Officer White came to her house last week, she says he arrested her with extreme force and never read out her rights. And that is the first time that I have ever been violated and assaulted and my constitutional rights taken from me. She took a video of the arrest where you can briefly see White's face before the phone falls to the ground. Oh, I was just breaking my wrist. Give me, give me your other arm. Give me your other arm. Another client, Teddy Wallace, claims White brutally beat him during an arrest in July on a call for domestic battery. Wallace's attorney releasing these photos today, claiming to be from after the incident. Meanwhile, Deputy White's incident report says that while resisting arrest, Wallace was tased and hit multiple times by officers. That was uncalled for what they'd done to me that night, was I was being tased and beaten with a baton while being beat in the head. But the only person right now actually charged with a crime is Randall Worcester. He's accused of threatening a gas station employee, among other charges. Documents also show that last year, Worcester pled guilty to assaulting and obstructing a police officer. We also spoke with the Crawford County officers legal team today who said while they did not have time for an interview, new allegations don't concern them, adding they even quote expected people to come out of the woodwork with allegations. All those allegations will need to be investigated. There are several investigations going on right now. Do we have an idea of what the expected timeline will be? That's right, Rolly. The FBI and Department of Justice have their own investigations, but we haven't actually seen lawsuits yet. I did speak with the Crawford County Sheriff, and while he says his attorneys has advised him not to answer any more questions, he's not sure how long these investigations take, but he hopes that they'll end soon.